Hello and welcome to my Let's Play Minecraft series Rocket World episode 55. There's a lot of building work on the external design of the gold farm today. If you've missed part 1 where we made the working elements of the gold farm and the sorting system then follow the card in the top right corner now and uh, you'll be able to catch up quickly. If you're still with me then let's go and take a look at what's been done so far. I'm standing at the top of the main base now, and I think you can see a little bit about the sort of um, vision that I had in mind when I was building this. So we've got a gateway sort of thing here, and let's have a quick look. We'll fly over and have a closer look at it. So as we come along here, we're going to get slower and slower. Let's spin around a bit so we go nice and slowly. So it's going to be a gateway and a path going through the center. We've added a few more of these temporary trapdoors in here, and uh, they all work now. I've had to extend the signal going out there, which is a bit tricky, but not too much of a problem. And this is how it's all sort of shaping up. I've hit, moved the towers around a bit and shunted things around, but um, everything's being slowly encased in the concrete. There's going to be a little bit of detail in the concrete as well. It's not all going to be white. Uh, I'm going to put some uh, deep slate in it as well. So it some, has some similarities to main base over there. So you'd be able to see both structures um, this one from over there and obviously I can see main base from here as well so yeah I'm quite happy with the way it's going at the moment. I've just been to the nether and got myself some quartz so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start placing this in. This is going to go on the back side here and it's my usual trick of uh, doing this. I hate doing this on scaffolding but <laughs> there's not much I can do about that so this goes up here like that so we do those with the stair block up the right way and it goes all the way to the top here and oh, that's it oh wait come on is that it what am i not going up oh i'm already at the top right okay let's stick another one on and then we come down doing it on this side now let's shift over a little bit this makes it a little bit easier Okay, so it gives us our pattern. This is a bit of a signature pattern, I think, in Rocket World. So there we go, we got that side done. Uh, let's chop all this lot down quickly. And so we can pick all that up. There we go. So that's that side done there. And this side is almost done, actually, I would say. So that's like that. So it still turns on. We need this gap in the middle here. But technically, we don't need to have a gap on this side, but it keeps it a bit symmetrical. Um, technically we could fill it up down to about this level here, but um, yeah, I'm not sure about that, so I'm going to leave it open for the time being. And you can see I've actually filled it in along the top there, so that might be something that uh, I have to think about. So I'm going to do the other side now, and then we've got to work on the top, and I've made a whole load of concrete as well for that, so then we move on to that in a mo. Now I've put a row of quartz down the centre here. Uh, they're lower half slabs, and the reason for me putting those in there is because I want to put some lighting on the top to stop mobs spawning up here, and make it nice and visible from over there in the main base. So, without jumping in the lava, ooh, there we go, that's a good trick, uh, we're going to put some sea lanterns underneath here. Uh, I'm not sure what sort of spacing I want to do, probably about one, two, so leave a gap of two in between, maybe, something like that. Uh, I'll be back up again now, haven't I? Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, if I can drop down there without burning to death, that'd be good. So one, two, three, so it's going to go on there. One, two, three, a bit tricky to tell what's going on here. Anyway, I'm going to go along and do all of these. It shouldn't take too long. What's going on there? Oh, I've reached the end, right. That's going to be a bit easier now. There we go. And oh, I left three at the end. Okay, so it's a bit of an uneven length. So as long as I follow the same pattern going back, yeah, oh, it's there, isn't it? There we go. We uh, shouldn't have too much trouble. Let's go to there. There we go. Oops. And it was two on the end there, wasn't it? Okay, so that should light up that bit. And now I'm going to get some light grey concrete and put some a bit of a differentiation in colour schemes on the top. 
Right, as if by magic I've now got some light grey concrete, which I'd have forgotten to uh, get, so I'm going to pop this along here. i um, not decided what I'm going to do with it. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, I might play patterns with this, I think. So let's lay five over here as well. One, two, three, four, five. And we do the same at the other end, and we'll mix up our colours a little bit and see where we go. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what I might do is I might start putting a little bit of white concrete in as well. And if I do this, I'm going to run into trouble. Oh, actually, not too bad. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I knew I'd make a mistake doing this somehow. Never mind. Oh, no, I'm all the way back up again. Right, let's go and do that. Right, now the idea is we lay this down here. This is where it gets a bit tricky because we don't want to block the lava. There we go. <laughs> I might collect that later, I think. Right, let's see what we can do with this one. And this one, can I run along here doing that? Or is it going to place the blocks down there? Oh, yeah, it might do. Ah, what a pain. I'll come along here backwards. Right, there we go. Right, so we've got that. And I want to put the white concrete along in here. Let's go at least two past that. And then I might put another strip of the grey. Let's do three actually because I've got a bit of a plan around this area. So let's have like let's do some more here. There we go, one, two, three. Oops, three. What? How did that happen? That was only one block. Was it a ghost block originally? How bizarre. One, two, three. And then I'm going to leave a gap. Two, three. So leave a gap. One, two, three. And it doesn't leave much space for anything, does it? <laughs> Okay, right, we'll just fill it in then. Right, so one, two, three, there we go. One, two, three, what? I'll put all that wrong, haven't I? Oh no, that's right. Right, I need to get some blocks, so I'll probably sleep while I'm here. Okay, here we are, we're getting towards the end of the project now. Let's have a quick look over here at the farm. Let's have a quick pass on this side and then we'll loop around and have a look here. So we've got the basics done now, so I'm quite happy with the way that's all turned out. So let's fly past here and then come back around. So it's starting to look fairly good, isn't it? So we've got these sort of uh, cuts in the side, they look sort of like some sort of technical contraption to get the whole thing lit up, which I quite like. I've replaced all of the trapdoors with iron now, which is very good, and extended out uh, quite a long way. There's only these two blocks left now, really, on each side. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to work on these, because obviously they're not evenly set off. I think I'll put a two-wide corridor down here, but then realise that this was a three-wide um, walkway here because it's an odd number of squares in between so it's 23 wide portal so it's just moving back this one back a little bit into this wall and then extending the corridor out there's a lot of work that's got to go on downstairs as you know this looks pretty horrific we've got the trident killer here we've got the farm switch over there which i could bring forward actually because it's a little bit of a trek down here that's not too bad but it's conveniently co-located for the upstairs actually more than anything and then the storage system down here is finalised as well, which still doesn't look very nice. So I'm going to do some work on the underside here. And this will probably be sort of a mezzanine level here. 
and going over to there and then the main sort of level would be down at that level over there so still some work to go on inside of the base I'm going to take that on at a later date but for the time being I want to do a little bit more work over here and on this part of the base here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the circle generator and we'll have a look at that in a minute and uh, I'll explain how that works. Now I use the Minecraft circle generator quite often to generate, well, circles. And it's got a few options, like thick, so you'll see that we've got the uh, blocks in between there. If we go to the thin, it reduces the amount of materials you use. I don't usually use uh, the filled ones, but that's also an option. And I suppose it will stop mobs from spawning in between, which is quite useful. So what I want to use this for is to have a landing pad outside of the gold farm. So what I do is I choose a size I want. Oh no, that's the display size, isn't it? <laughs> and this is the size of the circle that you want. So when you, you notice, when you get an odd number, then you get this crosshairs in the middle to show that it's odd. So this is quite a nice little tool, actually. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop back into Rocket World now and work out what sort of size circle I need. Here we are back in Rocket World, and this is where the landing pad's going to be. So as I fly over from main base over here, I'll drift down over here to the gold farm, and I'll land in this area here. So on a big circular landing pad, nice and big, and uh, then we'll walk along here up to the entrance to the gold farm, which is going to be there. So what I need to work out is how big do I want this landing pad to be? So it's going to be centred here. I want it to stick out a little bit over the edge. So it's going to be so we centered. Um, it's going to be centered about here or something. So it wants to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, about seven. So it's going to be fifteen. About fifteen diameter. So what I'll do now is I'll quickly knit back into the circle generator and we'll make a circle that's fifteen in diameter and see how that looks. Right, here we are again, and as you can see, we actually weren't far out. There's only one less, and there we are, so 15 by 15. And what I do, basically, is I will make a note of what I need to get across here. So it's five across, then you come along one, three, one, and then you go back the other way like that. So I'll make a note of that, and then I'll start building it on the world. Right, here we are back in Rocket World again, and I think I need to bring that one out there. So that's going to be our centre point, roughly. So we need to go, so if we come up here, oh, how many is it across? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need to go across seven, don't we? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's use these. Seven, so it's going to come out to about there. And it was five on the ends, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. It's going to come out five like that. Right, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to come out to about that far out. If we take those out, we don't need those yet, if at all. I'm not sure what we're going to do underneath. But you can see that's how far it's going to come out. Actually, let's build this backwards a little bit. And it comes out five on the first part. Then we go in one, and, and it's going to build over there. So I come back here, and it comes out one, two, three. Then we come in one more, and then in one more there, out one more there. And I believe that that is the beginning of three coming back. So if we take out that and that, we're going to get that coming back. And then the next one is going to be the five. Oops, missed that one. So that one there should be, oh, it's not in the center. Okay, I've miscalculated something somewhere. It's probably this section here. I think it might come one more and then go down. And let's have a look and see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it should come to here. So I've miscalculated something there. And that would come along three, three, four, five. 
that like that. Um, so that's how it's going to work like that. I'll re recalculate all this lot and uh, we'll come back when I've done a full circle. Right, there we are. We've come up on top of the um, gold farm now and we can see that the circle has turned out quite nicely actually. So it's a really good little tool, the circle generator, to help you uh, define these circular areas. And it's been used a lot over in the base here to uh, help me out, especially with the big circles, because they're quite difficult to generate on your own. So especially the, the main garden area, I use that there. So yep, so now it's time to extend the pathway and see if I can blend that in with the white border around here. I have a feeling that this might be quartz because I would like to keep the same sort of look and feel as the main tower over here and the walkways around there we have a nice quartz outline with a little um, not river really is it a little water feature running through the stair blocks that I use there and then it will continue over this side as well so I suspect that these may change up to this point anyway and then no, I don't know what was, what's going to happen here maybe they'll flow down the edge as well and we'll see how it goes I'll come back in a bit when I've done a bit of work hmm well that little bit of work took a lot longer than I could fit into this episode due to um, unforeseen circumstances so that brings us to the end of today's episode Next episode, I'll conclude the external design of the gold farm and we can move on to the main base environment, as we can see here. Thank you all for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like and don't forget to comment. If you want to see more on a regular basis, then please consider subscribing and you can help us to get to our next goal of 250 subs. And we're not far away now. Look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. So... Have fun and see you later.